Hey, what's up? Hey, I found myself on um, somehow in the book of Ezekiel. E Z E K I E L, not Zeke like your homeboy, but the book Ezekiel in 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 the, in the Bible in the Word. You know what's considered the Word of God. And the introduction said the book is named after the prophet Ezekiel, whose name means God is strong. I say that to say this. I'm looking in on um, chapter two. And it I'ma read it. It's you know a little lengthy, but I'm 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 gonna read it. It says, He said to me, Son of man, stand up on your feet, and I will speak to you. As he spoke, the spirit came into me. So I'm imagining this is Ezekiel talking. As he spoke, the spirit came into me and raised me to my feet so this is Ezekiel speaking of the spirit that came to him he's hearing you know from on high and he said I heard him speaking to me it carries on to verse 3 says he said son of man I am sending you to the Israelites to a rebellious nation that has rebelled against me they and their ancestors have been in revolt against me to this very day verse 4 said the people to whom I am sending you are obstinate and stubborn. Say to them, this is what the sovereign Lord says, verse 5. And whatever, no, and whether, not whatever. I love verse 5. And whether they listen or fail to listen. For they are rebellious people. They will know that a prophet has been among them. Verse 6, and you son of man, do not be afraid of them or their words. Do not be afraid, though briars and thorns are all around you, and you live among scorpions. Do not be afraid of what they say and be terrified by them. Though they are rebellious people, you must speak my words to them, whether they listen or fail to listen, for they are rebellious. But you son of man, listen to what I say to you. Do not rebel like the rebellious people. Open your mouth. And eat what I give you. Let me finish it right quick and go through verse 10 in chapter 2. Verse 9 reads as follows. Then I looked and I saw a hand stretched out to me. And it was a scroll which he unrolled before me. On both sides it were written words of lament. L-A-M-E-N-C. And mourning. And woe. W-O-E. I could break down L-A-M-E-N-C. Lament. I could break down the word morning and the word woe. I do it on another time. I ain't want to take up too much time. You know what I'm saying? De de deviate from what I felt the spirit was leading me to. Hey, everybody. The night is young. I'm This is what I love. He said. He. Who is he? The most high. Son of man. We're talking about Ezekiel. Son. Male. Son of man. Not son of God. He's the son of man. He said, stand up on your feet. Get up. So you can focus. And I'll speak to you. So you can pay me attention. You laying down, you may get too tired, I guess. And you ain't going to focus. You'll be more in a relaxed state of mind, parallel. I need you to be vertical and upright and alert. He said, as he spoke, the spirit came into me and raised me. The, the spirit raised him up. So, he, so while he getting raised, he's here in verse 3. And he says, son of man, I'm sending you to the Israelites. Okay, we know the Israelites. The children of Israel. We heard about them, you know, being in captivity. You know what I'm saying? So I said 400 years, I ain't sure. So I'm going to tie it in, you know what I'm saying, to, to slavery. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, uh, color, uh, during Israel. You know what I'm saying? Um, we can go deeper. Jacob, he loved Esau, he hated. Um, we know the, the, the understanding of, uh, of Jacob in, in Israel and name being changed, you know what I'm saying, um, to Jacob. You know, the wrestling with the angel. You know what I'm saying? This is what I love. I'm sending you to the Israelites, a, 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 a rebellious nation. So he intentionally sending you to rebellious people, a nation that has rebelled against God. It said they have rebelled and their ancestors have been in revolt against me to this very day. Meaning that not only the Israelites, but the ancestors, meaning that, that, that they got this from their ancestors. It, it, the ancestors have been kicking against God. Now they're kicking against God. So, so God got to find somebody outside of the Israelites that's kicking against God. To deliver them because it's obvious ain't nobody in the circle able to be used to deliver them so i gotta call zeke 
I say that to say this. Blind can't lead the blind. So what it's saying is it's hard to pull a revolting and rebellious Israelite out of this to free the other ones. Because sometimes no matter how much you want to free your people, sometimes God had to send somebody up because sometimes you may be too comfortable with your people. You may not want to be ostracized or left alone or made to feel like you don't belong in the in crowd. But those who fit in, they only get so far. Those who stick out, you know, those who in the fence get so far. Those who on the other side of the fence, they, 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 they find greatness. I want to go on. Verse 4, the people to whom I'm sending you to, they're stubborn. He's already letting Zeke know that you're going against some, not only rebellious people, that's one thing. These people are not only rebellious, they also describe with the word revolt, re revolt. You know what I'm saying? Rebellious, revolt, obstinate, stubborn. It sounds like these people are just in say, forget God. Forget his commandments, forget his principles. We fit, we, 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 we thugging. We're doing our own thing. Like Weber said, the dumb way. He even tell them what to say in verse 4. This is what the sovereign Lord says. And whether they listen or fail. So it's, so it's kind of like God saying, if they listen, cool, but even if they don't listen, I just want the word to go forth. It's like God saying, I can't stop them. I can't control them. I can't make them stop doing wrong. I, I can send prophets, I can send tornadoes, storms, I can send hurricanes, but I cannot make you stop sinning. I can't make you keep your clothes on and, and, and be holy. I can't make you stay from drinking and getting intoxicated and getting drunk. I can't keep you always from being a product of son or a product of daughter, wasting and spending all your good money on, uh, on too much weed, too much cigarette, too much black and mild. Um, Whatever your drug, co cocaine, crack cocaine, hard, um, popping pills. Have I hit you yet? Cigarettes, Newport, weed, cool, black and mild. Maybe you don't do none of that. Maybe you shop too much. Maybe you you ain't sinning at all sexually. You ain't sinning drinking or smoking. But you you eat too much. You a glutton. You don't know how to pull away from the table. Whatever you see, you want. So get back to our point and focusing. It's a they rebellious. It's a they will know that a prophet has been among them. So it's saying whether they listen or not, whether they change or not, they just need to understand a prophet been sent to them. And I think it's the book of Amos that God don't do nothing first as he revealed to his prophets. So it sounds like God is trying to send a prophet to give a warning and, and, and use a warning go before destruction. Because it's almost like God is saying, I'm going to give you a warning ahead of time to give you the benefit of that, to give you some opportunity to change your ways. He told this young man, Son of man, do not be afraid. He letting them know. Take courage. Take heart. Don't be afraid of them. Don't be afraid of their words because words have power. Life and death in the power of the tongue. And some people try to run you off with their words when they realize they can't scare you. It said, do not be afraid. There are briars. You're going through briars, stick of briars, spiritual things, and thorns are all around you. People. We ain't just talking about stick of briars walking through the grass that'll scratch your leg. We're talking about people that, that are thorns. People that, that, that are hard in your life. It's a don't be afraid. Those brows and thorns are all around you and you live among scorpions. We know what scorpions do. You live in among scorpions that can, that, can, that can sting you, that can pinch you, or can pinch you, hold you up and sting you and kill you and poison you. Do not be afraid of what they say or be terrified by them. Though they are rebellious people, you must speak my words to them. Whether they listen or fail to listen. For they are rebellious. It's just, that's what God is saying. That he pretty much let you know these folks may not listen. They ain't listen to me. They probably going to listen to you. These folks got their mind made up. Not saying they reprobate a mind or with a seal country. God just saying these folks doing them. They thugging. They mind made up. That a prophet must go say them. You must speak my words. According to verse 7, chapter 2 in the book Ezekiel, verse 7. You must speak my words to them. Whether they listen or fail to listen. For they are rebellious. Verse 8. But you son of man, listen to what? I say to you, do not rebel like the rebel. He up there trying to warn Ezekiel, don't you fall into their traps. Open your mouth and eat what I give you. So it's almost like he's saying, don't you allow them to conform you to do what they're doing, that you must stay strong enough to be, to be a voice, to be a speaker, Ezekiel. 
Because I can't lead the blind. Then I looked and I saw a hand stretched out to me. And it was a stroll, verse 10, which he unrolled before me on both sides of it, where were in words of lament and mourning and woe. It seems just like God raised up Ezekiel and others at those times for the um for Israel and the Israelites. It seems like God still raising up prophets today, you know what I'm saying, for America, since America is very rebellious as well. I didn't mean to go uh, 10 minutes, but um that was my little small rundown. Real quick on chapter 2, um, the book of Ezekiel. And uh, thank you for your time. I just want to give someone just a little, a little spiritual food, a little spiritual insight. Hope it helped you out. It helped me out. God bless. Take care. I speak life over you. Uh, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, hey amen. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. You know what I'm saying? Speak life over your family. Safe travels. You know what I'm saying? Be a blessing. You know what I'm saying? Don't just say God bless you when it's in your power to bless somebody. You feel me? Keep it real with yourself. We all need a blessing. We all need something going on in our life. Keep it 100 with yourself or 1,000. You feel me? Y'all take care.